Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are sublimating some 11 ounce mugs. I have nine of them to do and I hope you enjoy. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get all the Christmas songs that Okay, so I have my heat press all warmed up. As you can see, um, the temperature over here fluctuates. I have it set to 375, um, but it, it fluctuates, but it will always stay right around 375. And then I have it set for 180 seconds. And then I have my mugs prepped and ready to go. And I have all of my images cut out. As you can see, they are backwards, and that is so that they will print correctly on the mug because they are going to go on it like this. So it will go on correctly. Um, so yeah, I have all of these cut. This one is a photo one of children, so obviously I'm not gonna show you what that is. And then over here, I have this little fan that I got. I got this off Amazon a while ago. Um, I will link one below. I will see if I can find this exact one. So I just turn it on and then I set it to number three. And then once the mug is done, I set it in front um, I said it in front right here. I know there are some people that do cool down their mugs right away. There are some people that don't. I've always, for some reason, had a problem with ghosting. Um, the inks continue to spread because the cup is so hot and my images look blurry. So that's why I have the fan to help cool it down faster and that my images look crisp. So um, I will do this. I will set the mug in front of this after every single press. So when I put my image on the cup, I look at the cup from the top and I make sure this is completely horizontal, not like this or like this so that I can get the image on as straight as I can. So I look at it from above and make sure this is um, completely straight. And then from there, I will put the image on, you know, the front. So I have the tape on and then now that I have this exactly where I want it and perfectly straight. I'm going to come down at eye level in front of it. It's a little difficult to do with the camera. Um, and then make sure, I'm just going to at first eyeball it from the top and the bottom and see if there is um, an equal amount of the cup above and below. And then I'm just going to gently press the tape down and then I'm just going to continue to eyeball it to see if it's straight. You can measure it if you want. Um, I consider myself a professional eyeballer, so um, I'm going to go with that. But if you feel more comfortable measuring it, then absolutely do that. Like I said, this is a little difficult with the camera in the way, so I'm just going to move it to the left just a little bit. And then just continue to play with it until it is exactly where I want it. Now I know it's a little difficult to see in the camera, but I can see the writing underneath. So that is what is helping me go straight. I'm not going off of my cuts or anything. I'm going off of the image that I see underneath. And I will often, you know, hold it up, play around with it. Um, you know, my, my table is flat. I've leveled my table so I know it is completely flat and once it's where I want it then I will really press the tape down and I know this one is good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them and then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire cause all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you i don't need any presents as long as i spend this day with you mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you making plans what we're gonna do i feel so 
So one thing to note when you're pressing mugs is obviously your mug is not the same temperature as what your heat press is set to. So when you put your mug in, this will go down. I've seen this go all the way down to like 310, uh, 320. And once it gets back up to 360 is when I will start my timer and let it run down. Um, this is because, you know, you want to press it at 375 for four minutes but it, as you can see, it goes up really fast. So I usually just start it once it hits 360. So that way, again, I don't get ghosting and press it for too long. That's just what I do. Everybody does it different. Everybody finds, you know, what works for them in their heat press. And that's what I have found works for me. So yeah, once it gets to 360 and back up to temperature, I will start the timer. That I can be with you. God knows that I've been longing for you. I just want to hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love to spend this day with you let me give you a christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy love and it's so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with you with you with i don't you. need any presents as long as i spend this day with you Here are all their final mugs. I think they turn out so cute. Bring you in a little closer. These are the 11 ounce mugs from Pro World and I think they sublimate great. I will leave all of the materials and everything that I used down in the description below so make sure you check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.